Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you just a, a tool that I use or a way I think about creating IDs for things in a list. Now, I use this when I'm doing event planning for school. I have workshops, PD sessions, and I give them all IDs. But instead of doing something like just coming in and doing one, oops, two, and then dragging down, this is certainly acceptable, but then you've got a sequential thing and you don't always want sequential. Uh, I want unique, that's what I'm going for. I could definitely just mash the keyboard like this, but then I get symbols or just spaces even. So there's a better way that's consistent and we know it's gonna work every time. I'm gonna show you how I do that now. Now, if you've used App Script, you're used to getting here, Otherwise you can go to tools, script editor. And if you're new to programming or just are kind of vaguely aware, I've put the code in a link below so you can just go copy it if this is something that'll be helpful to you. But what I've got is I've got a function that's gonna just make an ID and I call it make simple ID because I've got one that's more complex that I'll do in another video later. And it takes a length. So how long is this ID gonna be? I give it a range or a string of possible characters. And I use a string because it's just easy to type the alphabet and some numbers. Uh, and then I'm gonna start and it's called instantiate. I'm gonna initialize an ID that's just an empty string so that we can mess with it later. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that the length I get is actually a number. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a quick if and say if it's not, and I'm gonna throw this length into the number function in JavaScript or in app script. And if it is a number, this will come back true. It'll give me a number. And if it's not, like if I write the word for, what we can actually do is throw a new error of the length needs to be an integer because it can't interpret the word three as meaning three. So we just do a quick check here uh, and that does some error handling for us. Uh, if it is a number, then we can go right into a for loop. So I'm gonna do for var and I use i, and we'll say at the first one, i is less than length, which is a number, we already know that and I plus plus. So after each loop, we're just gonna iterate. And now the easiest way to build this ID, it's already a string. It's already just characters. I can do ID plus equals, and we're gonna do a little calculation so to take math floor, and I'll talk about that in a second. I'll do math random. We're gonna generate a random number times the possible length. So let me kind of, let me make sure. I forgot to pick a character, so we want possible car at, and we're gonna give it a number, there we go. So what this is doing, so I'm saying out of this list possible up here, pick a character. So car at says, give me a number, and I'm gonna to go to that thing, whatever that string is, this could also be an array, and I'm gonna get that thing out of your string or your array. So how do we get a random number? Inside here, we just take math random, which gives you a decimal, zero to one, and we multiply it times the length. So that gives us a, a somewhere in that string. And we throw math floor on it because I want a whole number. It's gonna give me the, the lowest whole number equal to or greater than, or less than, sorry. That's not true. That's MDN math floor. I can never remember what the actual wording is. So we run it on the math object gives you the largest integer less than or equal to a, to a given number. So it's it's gonna take it down. So it's gonna, essentially you're rounding down to the nearest whole number. If you're negative, it's gonna be a larger negative number, which is a little confusing. But anyways, so I'm gonna loop the length, however many characters I want my string to be. I'm gonna build a quick ID and then we need to return that ID, okay? So now we've got a function and we can come back into our spreadsheet and this is pretty easy. Uh, whenever you build a function in app script, you can just call it equals make simple ID, and I'm gonna give it, a, let's say five. So I want a random five character string built from my tools that matches item one. I can do this, make simple ID, and let's say we want a 10 character string this time. Oops, I can't type make simple ID. There we go. Give me a 10 character string and boom, here we go. You could even take it and drag it down which is pretty great. You could also throw it into an if statement. I'm gonna say if is, if not is blank B6. So my next cell, I'm looking at the name. So if that's true, we want to make simple ID. Let's say this is back to five. And if it is false, we'll just put a, a blank in there. And now because it's blank, oops, I wrote my if statement wrong. If not is blank, oh, there we go. Can't get rid of that. Now it should be blank because there's nothing there. And if I put item five in, it's gonna quick crank out a, an ID for me. So this is really helpful. It doesn't work with an array formula because it's going to put the same ID into every row, but for one-offs, it works really well. You could also take this and throw it into a custom menu. So if you wanted to do um, function on open, 
E. Um, and then you could build out your UI, add to menu. And I'll, I'll do that in another video, but you, you don't have to do it singletons like this. You can build, put it into another function and ingest it that way. Uh, but this is kind of nice because it's modular. It's just on its own thing. You can call this function from anywhere else. So if you're doing some other work and you need to get a quick ID for something, it's super great. You can take that number, that string and put it wherever you want. So that's something I use a lot. Hopefully it's helpful. Let me know if you have questions in the comments, if there's other things, kind of utility that you want to see how I do in AppScript. Leave a comment below and I'll see if I can get one made for you. Thanks for watching.